They have Mega Man versus Sonic. Let me get this tweeted out. Three, two, one, go! So there's a certain subset of Sonic matchups where people are like, yeah, no, this matchup uh, kind of sucks for Sonic because the character is allowed to just throw the boxes out in front of them. Yeah. And Sonic has to avoid them. Which, uh, yeah, Mega Man's definitely one of those. Like, Samus is another big one that they're like, yeah, no, the Samus Sonic matchup sucks because Sonic's best way to approach is horizontally. Over 9,000. She 000. can take advantage of that. His Twitter is over 9,000 lemons. Oh my. You know what? I appreciate the tag even more now. That's pretty good. Alright, great microspace over 9,000 there. That was sick. But yeah, like you're saying, like he's just kind of like a endless barrage of like just hitboxes like near him. So when Sonic gets in, like he's gonna end up like clanking and then taking some damage, but then he has to like start all over again. He's like inverse Sonic a little bit. Yeah, 100 uh, percent Um, Mega Man was buffed significantly between Smash 4 and Ultimate. Uh, his forward air made it, the fact that his forward air got buffed so much made it to one of his biggest weaknesses, which was if you're standing from center Bro, why would you go? I wouldn't just go for the safe hits. Uh, if you're standing from center stage against Sonic, uh, it's really hard for uh, against Mega Man. It's really hard for him to you. Now that's not really the case anymore, so you have to be a lot more careful how you approach um, at high percent specifically. Ooh. Okay. And the punish him with the forward terrible. smash. Feels like really, really. There's very little risk uh, doing Mega Man charge shot unless you uh, you're fighting the opponent with a plunger. Yeah, and you have to respect that space, especially online. It's just going to be hard to maneuver around. There's no time to react. Over 9000 trying to get a little bit set up to like grab his uh, gear, but Sonic Fiend going to not let him get to it. Sonic Fiend's stacking on some good damage. Kind of just keeping him harassed and just not letting him get to the ground or be comfortable. I don't know who that up tilt was for. Oh. Bro, oh so my. Risky. That move can break shield when it's that way. There's uh, over 9,000 which might take a hit. But, uh. Almost died. That's the best still. reaction. He probably could have actually rolled under the platform and that would have been safe for him. Yeah, Sonic uh. Fiend doing a great job getting into him, actually getting in the extra hits. Where are you uh, going? Yeah. Okay. Uh, back to the stage. Where else? Ooh, that was uh, a little bit spooky. All right, I like the air dodge. However, it was a good setup by over 9,000 to try and catch him with the back air. Not enough to take the stock, but he put him off stage. Wasn't able to hold the advantage for too long, but still has center. Ooh! Bro, please. Try to oh. hold center stage, at least. You're finding Mega Man. Okay. So I, I agree with you. Ooh! Alright. Okay. Uh, he still has this, the bomb on him. Sonic Fiend plays a really aggressive Sonic, which I, I, I appreciate that. He doesn't play like a super. Uh, probably as reserved as he should be if he's trying to like, win 100%, so that's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. hey, we're 9,000. Probably should be trying to play more of a keep away game, honestly. Uh, I see why he did that up smash. He just reacted late. That definitely would have worked. But it's tough, man. Yeah, unfortunately. I don't. I, I don't. I don't think that spin dash is a move you should be trying to punish on shield, bro. I mean, it definitely would have worked. Just maybe not online. Huh? I was like, if you missed a kill, because I didn't see Sonic in his first dock. Mm hmm. Eh, whatever. No matter. No, you're right. It's a, it's a, it's a hard move to punish, because you're just like, oh, this character moves super fast, and you kind of can choose to, like, not engage at a specific time. Sonic Ring. Mm -hmm. Really, bro? Whatever. None of my business. Alright, Fiend opting to go Terry. Three, two, one, go! Hey! Throw away! Launch! 
I don't really understand why you would opt for this matchup. This matchup is annoying as hell. Even probably even worse than Sonic. But all right, I guess. <sighs> all right, it's definitely on the other foot with this car, uh, with this character pick over nine thousand. Dealing, eh, actually not too much damage uh, versus what he's taking. Fiend's actually holding his own fairly well. Oh yeah, make me eat those words. Alright, I guess don't make me eat those words. Nice, I like that air dodge. Oh, he just got up too soon. Could have made it out of there pretty unscathed, but... Uh, yeah. So over 9,000 with a small stock lead is what I would say if you didn't get F smash right there at the edge. So yeah, the Sonic Fiend kind of just still giving a, giving him a fight. This is a lot more even than I was expecting it to be. Honestly. I don't think this, this matchup is like super worth the hard I guess uh, it's better than Sonic or he's just that confident that he can do this. Terrible. Could be just wanting to try secondaries. You're up game one, you can afford it. Nice. Great evasion is up until the end. Wasn't able to make it back to the ledge, so kind of all all mood. Now we have a very strong lead by over 9,000. Uh, he's, I mean, he's got to get some damage uh, before he loses the stock. But he definitely has a lot of options too. Very nice punishing the dash deck with the up smash. Evening up these percentages here, now giving like a nice, real comfy lead with these with the stocks. So they'll go now is here, power guising the ghosts behind him. Was afraid that uh, Rush was gonna like hit him from behind or something. Yeah, I'm pretty Whoa. sure that was a negative edge cancel. Alright, Sonic Bean's in a good position here to make the comeback. Get back on the stage. Ooh. Never mind. Yeah, down air is going to be super effective on a character like Terry. Because, like, projectile down air that. A projectile that spikes is kind of nuts. Because, like, there's no risk of trade. So, like, it's only a hitbox. No hurt boxes included. This also covers, like, a very large amount of space. And there's also the fact that Terry just doesn't snap to the ledge unless you space it perfectly. I'm kind of curious um, if charge shot like changes its knockback at all throughout the hitbox, throughout the attack at all. I don't Say think that does, again? But if charge shot changes its like it's the amount of uh, knockback that it produces depending oh, on how Oh, I think it's the opponents. same the entire way through. Yeah, I would assume that. Man, he really did re-grab there, huh? Even the last 30 seconds are right there in the last Ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go! Alright, going back to Sonic. And uh, counter pick on FD. Uh, this, like, I honestly don't really know how much of the stage really will play too much of a factor just because it's Sonic versus Inverse Sonic. Nigga Sonic, I don't know. Like, <sighs> when. I mean, I guess Sonic Fiend's mentality was um, the platforms really weren't doing that much to help me. Maybe? So yeah, I think, I think it's like a, uh, you know, it's kind of like. This is where you go, kind of thing. It's just I don't think that Mega Man cares too much. I imagine he doesn't. It's like he's taking so much damage just trying to get. No. Ooh, ooh, ooh! And okay. Whoa! Those lemons! Yeah. Very good attempt there. You know, the worst part is that Sonic Fiend had to stop really early when he had the low read with the F smash, but he wasn't able to actually manage with it. Oh wow, I got hit by his own crash bomb explosion. He reached over, that's pretty nuts. 
Yeah, it's uh, it actually is a lot bigger than the last day than it is for the rest. Looks like Sonic Pete's just like kind of hungry for that kill bit. And that's not something you want to be playing like, actually with Sonic, but I guess eventually, if you keep trying hard enough, it'll come to you. So. All right. Fair enough. The Sonic finally gonna take the stock, evening it up. Honestly, 50 damage is nothing. So. Yeah, see that's like what? Three spin dashes. Up. One. Yeah, that was spin dash number three. I feel like uh, Sonic All right. yeah. takes the lead. God, how uh, many attack charges oh. so long? That is one of the pluses to uh to FD for Sonic nice. specifically. That homing attack, you got nowhere to run, dude. Yeah, no, no ceilings above you. No roofs. Oh, I was convinced he was gonna die for a second. I was like, man, he's gonna let it rip at just the right moment. That's gonna be it. Oh, and a very suspect uh, air dodge under the stage. Getting a million thousand uh, F smash. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Sonic Bean taking the lead for the first time in this match. Pretty bad start. Not hanging on to that lead for much long. Yeah, Porter, dude. It's super strong now. And it's not like back air where you can hope to try to maybe. I mean, parry, I mean, though. great parry. Wasn't able to get anything from it, but you know. I don't think it would have died if it got shield broken, but that's still a sick parry. Sick parry is sick. Wow. Yeah. It really is just inverse spin dash, huh? <laughs> it's really inverse spin dash. I feel like if it was inverse. Instead of him spinning, the thing around him is Ooh. I see. Ooh. Bro. Alright, over 9,000 has. It's in a really good position until he completely he it forfeited it. Like Alright, Sonic Fiend's in a really good position. Jesus. That's actually a pretty good recovery, all things considered. Ooh, it ended up poking because it went around and hit him from like Bro, the left side. Bro, just run away. Just run away. Run away, and if you let, if you if you release it, then at that point you can go ahead and just spot dodge whatever, roll away. Ooh, is that actually enough? It is. That is. Damn. Wow. That was almost too easy. All right, good stuff. All right, we have our first sets of uh, winners' quarter sets ready to go. Actually, another all ready to go. So. I'm gonna go through this and see from the top to the top. We'll save uh, Sonic versus uh, Pikachu for last. <laughs> so, starting from the top, we have Mousetrap versus Sonic. Louis Jesus versus Mojo Game Slayer. Uh, Garatini versus Infinite Deletion. And Neo Vanquisher versus Dijon Mark. Dijon Mark is a Kirby. Yep. Um, Garatini is a, uh, Neo Vanquisher is a pilot main, Infinite Deletion is a Pac-Man. Garatini is a K. Roll main, Mojo Game Slayer of Ninja, Louis Jesus is a Wii Fleet. And then finally we have, we have, uh, Pikachu in the form of Mouse 